In this video, we will create our bottom app bar of our hamburger application. Let's start this. So if we go back inside our code, this is the image that we will build right now at the left bottom corner. If we go back in our main uh, .dart file, we have the custom, uh, after the custom scroll view inside the scaffold, we can add the argument bottom navigation bar and the widget bottom app bar. Here we go. After inside the bottom app bar, we will need to add uh, a child first. So the, the argument child and this child argument will be, uh, will have a widget called row inside. And the row, uh, the purpose of the row, so we will add children as well with the list. The row will be to display um, icon one after the other. So in straight line, as you can see on the picture. So the children will have the first thing inside an icon button. This icon button will have an icon argument and the icons dot um, alert. So icons dot, I think it is aid, aid alert. Yeah, add alert. This will be um, the icon and then we will format document. If we go over the icon, because we can see icon button is in yellow. If we go over, we will see that we need to add the unpress. So if we go, if I find to, okay, unpress like that. We will add this on in the icon button. So this is the argument on pressed. We will add the empty function. So two bracket, just like that. The first one and the second one like that. Here we go. So now we have an icon button inside this row. We will need to add another icon button. And to do so, we will just copy this one and we will paste it right under it. Just like that. That's perfect. Next, the icon of the second one will be the turn it in. It is like a, a favorite something. So we have our two icon, but we would like to put them in the middle for sure. So we will add a spacer on the top. So the spacer widget, comma, we will copy the spacer widget. So let me take it, copy, and we will paste it at the end and in the middle of the two icon button. And as you can see, the space in the middle is not enough. So we will put two spacer inside. Here we go. Now this is perfect. After, as you can see on the image, we will change this icon button, this uh, bottom up bar to be green and to have an icon in, inside. So to add this inside the scaffold, just over the bottom navigation bar, we add the argument floating action button and we use the widget floating action button with the unpress argument. We add an empty function inside we add the comma and uh, inside this one, we will add a child for sure. This child will have an icon widget, so icon, just like that. And inside will be icons dot home because we want the home uh, icon, comma and format document. Here we go. If we go uh, inside the app, we will see the icon. So the button floating, but we want it to be inside the middle of the app bar. We will change the color of the app bar first to make it green. So if we go inside the team data of the main material app, we add an argument called the bottom app bar color, and we add the colors point teal. Here we go. So next, we are coming back inside our bottom app bar. And what we want is a, a color for our icons. So icons button, we will add the color argument and colors dot white. 
the comma, we will copy this and we will paste it on the other icon button for sure. So both of them are white now. That is better. Next thing, we will uh, like, so if uh, I found the place, we will like to add as well the floating action button theme. So the color of the floating action button, because right now it is blue. So we go inside the theme data, floating action button theme argument, and we add the widget floating action button theme data. So you need to write it with a capital letter. I just forget it, but Flutter will find it anyway. So floating action button theme data, and then we can add the background color. So the first one, and we add colors dot teal. Here we go. Format document like that. And now it is better. After what we will need to do is take this button and we would like to put it in the middle of the bottom app bar. To put it in the middle, what we will need to do is uh, right over the floating action button, we add an argument called the floating action button location. And this takes a floating action button uh, location. We remove the, the bracket if you have, and then you say dot center docket. So you will write center docket and the floating action button should go in the middle like that. Next thing, we will need to add a little space between the icon and the bar to make a little bit more style inside the app. So in the bottom app bar widget, we will add an argument. This argument will be the shape and the shape will be a special widget called the circular notched rectangle. And as you can see, now we have a little space between. This is nice. But the M on the hamburger is not display uh, after the home button, as you can see on the white. So we will need to add the extend body argument inside the scaffold. So extend body right over the floating action button uh, location. And the extend body will be true. This means the M will go right in the white place. Um, so we have a little error. We don't see it right here. We should see the M as you understand. So I will go back and uh, I will, I think, refresh the app. Maybe this should work. So if I refresh the application, okay, now it's worked. So we can see the M after the bottom. That is better. Next thing that we would like to do is add a little uh, opacity just to make it look a little bit better over the bottom up bar. So we will wrap it. So refactor with a container. You can press control dot if over the bottom up bar to do the same. And we will add a color argument with colors dot uh, black 38. This will make a little shadow. So I will put the comma. This will put the shadow right here to make it even better. That's good. Next thing that we would like to do is put the corner a little bit round. Okay. To do that, we will wrap the container with another widget. So we'll refactor and wrap with a widget. You can click on container once again and click control dot. So we will add the clip air rec and the clipper rec have a argument called border radius and we can add border radius dot vertical. So I selected circular and I mean vertical. Perfect. Now the radius will be the top because we only want the top to be rounded and we add on the top argument radius dot circular 45. We add the comma and format document. Here we go. So now we have the rounded corner. 
Last thing, we will change the icon of the home button to be orange. To do that, we came back inside the uh, inside the team data that's on the top, material data, team data, and we have the floating action button, team data, and we just change the color to be orange. And here we go. So as you can see, we just had the bottom up bar very nicely on this app. So see you on the next video. Bye.